Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here on behalf of Art Joy Sharing for the monthly video that is called The Magnificent Melange, which is basically an assortment of tips and tricks for you to improve your art or your techniques of whatever it is that you do. Since I'm mainly a doodler, my stuff will be concerning um, equipment for doodling that you could purchase to enhance what it is you do because I sure use it. All right, so I have my little kit, um, and inside here are things that I had asked for for Christmas. I put on my Christmas list on Amazon for my family and my my friends, and a lot of people bought these for me, and I was so surprised because I thought, you know, they'd buy pens and pencils. No, they bought me these things, which I think are really cool. All right, so let me start with um, the easiest one first, which is this one all right so this one is a basic template or template whichever way you pronounce it um that i have two of i have a blue one and i have a white one let me put the blue one down because it's easier to see okay so this one says artist loss so i know i purchased this at michael's and i think i used a coupon on it so it was probably less than ten dollars maybe even closer to four or five. I can't remember. I've had it for quite a while now. And as you can see, it's well-loved because it's filthy. <laughs> okay, so um, there's different radiuses of circles, and it tells you one and seven-eighths, two inches, two and a fourth, one and a half. So if you do not have a hole punch and you need to make a circle with something, these are perfect to use. It is made of flexible plastic, so you're not going to break it. It'll be hard to destroy unless you crimp it or really, you know, mess with it. Otherwise, it's pretty durable. The second one, I think, came via someone sent this to me on Amazon. I, I just don't remember because some stuff was sent to me anonymously, so I can't tell you who sent it. All I can do is say, thank you. I really love this stuff. So I'm not sure if this came in a set, but I have a couple of other things that have the Mr. It's called Mr. Pen, P-E-N. This is called the uh, Large and Small Circles. I tried to look for this on Amazon, and it shows a lot of products from Mr. Pen, but I, and, and shows this one, but it shows this one in a set. So uh, since this one was anonymous, I'm not really sure who sent it, or if I've got it in a set, or if it came single. I just don't remember. So here's another one that says Mr. Pen that is a compact version of, oh, that's even worse. <laughs> this is a compact version of this. This is large. You can't drag this around everywhere you go. So since I use a small Dilutions Traveler's Journal to do my doodling in, um, I use this when I go somewhere because it is easily tucked inside here, doesn't hang out, or, let me put my board in here, or you can stick it this way inside the elastic. Yes, it's going to scooch around, but it is there. So, this is great. It is a little over six inches long, which is about the same length as a dollar bill. If you need to measure something and you don't have a ruler, a dollar bill will do it. You can do three inches because a dollar bill fold in half is three inches, or you could do open up the bill and it's six inches. So, that's just a little tip. All right, so this says Mr. Pen also, and I like this because it's a, a, again, flexible thing. I can't mess it up. All right, so there's that one. Then I have these things, and these look like some kind of a Star Trek weapon, don't they? <laughs> they came in a packet together, and it says, like I said, it says Mr. Pen on it. Which side is Mr. Pen? This side. It's hard to get them all on here so you can see everything. There they are. There were four pieces in the set. And I think this came anonymously. I do not know who sent this to me. This is called a French Curve Set. You can buy it by itself on Amazon or you can buy it in a package. And when you buy the package, you get other things in the set. So you'll have to look at Am take a look at Amazon and look for the sets and then sometimes you can get things singly 
All right, so this one is a French curve set. If you cannot dry, draw curves, this is perfect for you. Um, you don't have to do the empty inside here. What you can do is draw around the outside for your doodle and then doodle on the inside. These things are great for shapes. They are hard plastic, so they can be broken. They're not something that I would travel with. I would leave them at home next to, in my cart where I do, uh, where I have my pens and that kind of stuff. But they're very cool. They have different shapes. It's just, these are very cool things. All right, so the next one is called, and I put a post-it note on here because I couldn't remember. It's called a Picket Circle Radius Master Template. Circle range goes from 3 sixty-fourths to seven and a half inches. And I did happen to look at this, the price, and the price was $8.14. Now, they come in clear. I think the clear one is more hard plastic, and this one is the flexible one, so you can take this in your suitcase or travel with it. It's not going to go in your Dilutions journal unless you use one of those big ones. This is not going to slip in here. <laughs> it's a little too big, but it's very cool. I watched somebody do a mandala on YouTube last night, and she actually used this, put it on the edge of her paper, lined up these lines here with the edge of the paper, and just drew inside and made the most wonderful mandalas, uh, mandala that was a half, a half one. So these are very cool um, tools to use. You have this, and then it has the circles inside here going from, let's see, what's the biggest one? One inch down to 364. It's just like I read off here. <laughs> okay, so these are very cool. Something else that I don't draw well is I don't draw semicircles. I mean, I don't draw ovals very well either. So I don't know if I bought this for myself or if someone bought this for me and sent it to me. I just flat do not remember. There's no name on it, so I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. But here are um, ovals, and it gives you an oval from 1 16th all the way down to 1 and 3 eighths, 2 and a half. It goes from 1 16th to 2 and a half. It's called an ice isometric protractor. I think you can also purchase this on Amazon. I did not look on Amazon for this one, but I think I saw it on there. Another one is called a circle radius arc master stencil. Again, you can line it up this way where it runs a, it has a line that runs through all of these. You line it up with the edge of the paper and then you can draw semicircles with it. You can fill them in, draw two sides of it. Or if you only want one side, you just do a little bit on this side, a little bit on the inside, and keep going. Very cool. And again, it has circles and it has a ruler. Let's see. This is in uh, centimeters. So it's not in inches, but it's on in centimeters because it says uh, zero through... 0 through 23 and it says CM next to it so it's not based on inches but nevertheless it's still a very useful tool and if you really need inches all you have to do is figure out what the ratio is and then mark with a marker where the inches are and that still will work. As far as I know and I did look for a little while is that you can buy almost every one of these on Amazon. As a matter of fact I know you can buy every one of these on Amazon but I did not look for the prices. So I want to show you why purchasing these would be a good idea for you to enhance your doodling. Last night, I used the, um, the circle templates to do these. Let me, come, let me bring you in closer. I'll wait for it to focus. All right, I don't draw circles that perfectly. There is no stinking way. So I put down the template, did the teeny weeny ones in the middle and kept doing the ones and moving it and moving it and out and out. All of these were, all of these were made with the templates that I show you, including the half circles here and the half circle here. 
I don't think there's any shame in using an aid to help you draw. A lot of people who are watercolorists sketch things in pencil on their watercolor paper before they paint them. And there is no reason why you should not have these kinds of things to help you improve your art. If you're on a limited budget, go and buy yourself a little tiny one. You don't need big, huge things. You can use a coaster to make a circle. You can use the bottom of a glass, a jar, anything like that. I've used all of those when I didn't have the money to buy things like this. So, let me show you this one. These, again, were also done with the circular um, templates that I, I showed you. All these concentric circles in here were done with that. I did not freehand any of these because I can't. They look terrible when I do them. I have no problem using a template. So add these a little at a time to your collection. You can store them all together so you can find them when you need them. Or you can take one of these, put it in a journal where you, you use every day for doodling or drawing, whatever you do, and hang on to the little one. All right, so this has been Vicki Brown here on behalf of Art Joy Sharing. I hope that you will learn to embrace using a template to enhance your doodling and your art of all kinds. I mean, they're not just for doodling. It's for all kinds of things. I hope you will enjoy the, these. And thank you for watching. Thanks, everyone. Bye.